Hello, this is a short video about the Mr. Heater slash Enerco 22,000 BTU propane wall mount radiant heater. Uh, I have this in a cider shop in my barn. Um, I usually heat this with electric, except when the doors open because I can't keep up. And this really, really helps to cut the chill when you're moving around in here and it's cold. Um, also, when I'm in here, the door has a crack at the bottom, so um, this helps a lot. Uh, first and foremost, if you get this heater, it has two features that I think really speak for it. One is, it makes its own electricity to run a thermostat, and that to me is pretty huge. You'll notice there's a flame behind the pilot light. That is a thermal pile, and that is making the electricity necessary to use an external thermostat. Now it comes with a thermostat, says use no other thermostat. Well, I'm kind of telling you that it's just a contact closure thermostat. There's nothing special about it, except it is mechanical, and so your repeatable accuracy and setting it for a specific temperature are limited. Um, I used regular thermostat wire and put on a digital thermostat out of the heat zone against the wall and it's set for 45 and or 40 probably but it is 45 in here and it works brilliantly so if you have the question can I use a regular thermostat on this yes you can it has to be a simple contact closure and yes you can use regular bell wire you don't necessarily have to use the wire they gave you um, because those are current activated devices, the, uh, the solenoid in the gas valve, you can't use really thin wire. You, um, you know, a 16 gauge is probably fine, 18 gauge is probably fine, but for what I have here, which is a very short run, from there to there, I could use the wire they gave me and it works just fine. Now, something to tell you about this, it does a great, I'm going to turn it on while we're here. And it, it doesn't like drafts, okay? So that fan I have running on the wall behind me, or over there, I can't let it hit this. The pilot light and the thermal pile and a draft going through the burner head, it doesn't like it. So don't do that. Have a fan near the ceiling pushing your warm air down, but don't let any drafts hit the burner directly or it's just not going to work right. Um, you see right there is a little effect of a draft, that blast of blue you saw. Now it's warming up. And it really does a nice job. One thing I noticed with it is that when I got it, the I literally had blue flames coming out the top. The regulator on it, there's two adjustments. One is for the pilot light size, and the other one is the overall pressure. Um, it had to be adjusted. It's well called out in the manual. I really recommend you read the entire manual before you start to install this. Get familiar with it. Um, it has everything you need to know for adjusting it properly. So if you don't want a full 22,000 BTU, yeah, you can throttle it back a bit. Now, if you throttle it back too far, it's not going to light very well because you need to have that gas flow going through the burner elements to really get the light. And if it's too slow, it just won't work. It does come with a really nice mounting template, so you get it on the wall the proper minimum distance. And here it's nice because it's high enough, it won't start my hair on fire. It works very well. Um, I have a metal ceiling in here. Don't be surprised if the first time when you light this, if you have a metal ceiling or something above it, you probably might want a heat shield, you hear it creaking and moaning. That's just it expanding and contracting, getting used to having the heat there. It only did it a few times, and it doesn't do it anymore. I think you can see a touch of red going there now. I'm going to turn off one of the lights. Well, turn both off. Hey, look at that. And that's really a nice feeling. So anyway, I consider this a really good value. No regrets. 
Um, it was not an insignificant expense, but I'm happy I did it. Shop around. There's a lot of variation in prices. It's the same thing no matter where you get it. So that's it. 22,000 BTU propane wall mount overhead heater. Um, thumbs up.